All right, here we are today at Titan Machine Tool, running the lathe. We're making some guide pulleys for a wire feeding machine. The machine feeds wire. The guide rollers, the original ones were all rubbed out. Had a big old radius inside the V. It didn't belong there, the shape of the wire. So we're making new ones. These bad boys are made out of D2. Yes, D2 tool steel, okay? So I made a test one here just to try to prove out a process. So obviously I'm not starting with that, that big of a piece of material, but that's what I had. This is like, I don't know, 4140 or I don't know, 1145 shafting or something like that, I don't know, but it's pretty tough. Chips come off purple. So I could create a process to do the D2. You know, the D2's not easy to cut either. So I figured if I can make a process work on this, it should carry over and work on D2. So here we go, this is what we gotta do. We got solid blank of material here. We gotta cut the V and then there's bearings. Bearings press into this, to this guide roller. So that's gonna be a half thou press fit for a 28 millimeter bearing that goes in there. Obviously the other side's gonna look the same. This one I'm not gonna bother cutting off because it, like I said, it was just a test piece. But we have our slugs. Customer brought me 15 pieces of material already cut about three quarters of an inch longer than, he, than they need to be, so I got some material to hold on to. I brought them all to this stage. Turned one side, 2.250, so I got a nice true diameter to grab on. Faced them off, this way they're all the same length for the most part, and I got a square surface to bank against. So we made some jaws for the chuck. Right there, okay. Some aluminum soft jaws, we put them on, we bought them out to the 2.250, so we can grab on that diameter right there. Got something nice to hold on to. Customer already put a big old honking hole through it for me already, so that's that much less material I have to deal with. But this is how we got it set up, created a process. Tool one, rough face and turn. Tool two, finish face and turn. Tool three, bore. Now that's not gonna be a complete bore. We're just boring that big honk and hole true so that it's nice and true. And we're gonna put a little 60 degree angle on it, 60 degree included angle so that we can support it with a center when it comes to hogging out that V. Tool four. This car cut off grooving tool. This is the workhorse of this job right here. This bad boy is gonna remove all the material. Works hard, you'll see that. Does a good job. Better than I would have expected. Then we have here is we got a, uh, basically a threading tool that we're gonna use to plunge in on the center of that groove to get way down inside because you see this is a square tool. It's got a square cutting end on it. We're making a V. So we use this right here to go in at the very bottom to remove the square cut that that guy leaves behind. Create some more clearance for the final tool to go in and cut that V profile to size. I never had used this tool before. That's not the tool that's usually in my box. It's not my go-to. But I was poking around looking for something that I could cut that V profile with and I'm like, man, this baby's perfect. You can go in there, cut that angle. It's got clearance on the tool, doesn't rub. It's got a nice little radius in the tip. Works beautiful. But we'll show you that in a little bit. So this is what we're gonna, this is what we've done so far. D2 tool steel. We start with a solid chunk like that. And we bring it to this right here. Now that's not finished board. Like I said, we gotta finish bore it more to look like this one for a bearing to press in there. 
But we threw that hole up because that, that drilled hole was running out big time. And we put an angle on there to match our center just so that we can bring the center up against the pot for some support while we're plunging because uh, I'd really hate to be plunging hard on that with that cutoff tool and this thing go whoop and peel out of the chuck. That would be horrible. You know, we do have soft jaws. We got a real nice grip on it right there. I had to cut the jaws away a little bit to clear for that last tool to be able to come in and cut that full V profile because we're working pretty close to the chuck. So we had to cut the jaws back. After we bought them to fit, we cut them back and cleared them for the final tool. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this from that. So this was the setup video. We're already over six minutes long now, so I'm not gonna show you the production here, but we'll do another video for the production. Titan Mach Machine Tool signing off. That's the prelude to our machining for today. Next up, machining process.